Welcome to part five of the proposed membership program that I'm hoping to launch in June of 2024. This is the last video that I have planned, but that doesn't mean that there won't be another video after this. If I get some feedback, if I come up with some more ideas, I may in fact end up doing a part six. But as of right now, this is as far as I plan to go. If you don't know me by now, you will never ever know me. I just wanna say hello, my name is John R. Clay. My goal is to help people become successful in the US stock market. I've talked about this point more in other videos, so I'm really not gonna belabor this. I have about 30 years of experience in the financial markets and about 40 years of experience as an educator. And that's my real passion, is to help people and teach people to develop skills. Now, this is being recorded on April 29th. I, instead of spreading these out over a few weeks, like what I've been trying to do, I just decided to marathon through them, the rest of the videos in one day. There is a playlist on YouTube. I can't do this on Rumble where you can go through and watch the five videos more in order. It You can watch them out of order, but I'm explaining different parts of the program. This one is a little bit more down to earth and kind of what I'm looking for and kind of how I want to establish some basic ground rules as we start to get involved in the program. And if you decide if you want to be involved in this or not. First of all, remember that it takes two, okay? There's you and there's me, or there's myself and any kind of a team that I have working with me. And then there's you and maybe your family and friends. But ultimately it comes down to you and I. That's the way this is set up. Even though this is being watched by lots of different people, at the time I record this, it's like I'm talking just to you. So that's my end. And I have to take responsibility for that. Well, there's the other side of it as well. So it's very obvious that I do a lot of work and I enjoy it. I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to be a martyr here. I like doing what I do here. I like the research. I like putting together the classes and the videos. I, I really enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it. But when taken as a total package, I feel that what I'm trying to offer you is at a very low cost. Now, some of you may go, when $97 a month, that's not low cost, man. Well, it's kind of open to personal interpretation and how you feel about things. However, the information and education are almost useless if you don't learn the information and then implement it in total. This is the key, in total. You can't just watch part of a video or part of a daily update or one or two sections of the online courses, you need to find the dedication and the time to go through everything. Now, I have a lot of information. And so I understand. That's why I tried to break it down into more manageable chunks. But there is a responsibility on the other end. I can, as an educator, I can teach the best information. I can prepare all these great lectures. But if nobody's listening, it's wasting everybody's time. And so there is a two-sided coin here, so to speak, or a process that needs to go on back and forth. So members that only make a use of portion of the available resources, you won't succeed. I can, that's one guarantee I can make. I guarantee that I'll give you the best information that I can. I haven't actually put this in writing yet, but I, I guarantee three videos a week, even though I do about eight or nine videos a week, but I have reasons for that, that I'll go through at another time. But if you have to take the information as it's being presented. Now I know it's a lot. I do a video every day. I do a weekly video, intermarket analysis, deep dive, the what to watch video. And then there's all the courses. So I know that there's a lot to this, but I've tried to make it more manageable, at least as manageable as possible. It's the old idea in baseball. I, I actually was able to hold a world series ring one time from the, early to mid seventies, um, a gentleman named Wes Stock, who was a pitching coach for the Oakland A's when they were winning all their world series. Well, later on, he was my coach and I got to hold his world series ring and it said S plus S equals X, S, S plus S equals S, sweat plus sacrifice equals success. And there's no short answer to that. In fact, I have a, a workshop 
that I recorded a few years ago that's more timeless. It's not really based around time that I'm going to include in the description below this video. And it's about 90 minutes long and it kind of offers you my philosophy on things and it goes outside of investing. It looks at music and sports and so forth, but just kind of my whole approach and what I'm trying to present to you. And you can actually see me in that video. I actually use the camera to record that video. So feel free to check that out. But you're going to have to keep up with what's going on. Now, this is also going to be determined by your time frames too. If you're longer term, maybe not every day. If you want to really get in and be on a shorter term time frame and really keep up with what's going on, it's going to take more of a commitment unless you replace that with equally essential resources. I know I'm not the only game in town. There's other videos that you can watch. There's other people that you might even like better than what I present. That's just the way it goes. But if you want to get into the program that I have and really become a part of it and have it become part of you, it's going to take a real commitment there. Also, a very liberal trial period. It's at least going to be one month. And I'm playing around with some different ideas. I hope to launch this in June. And I may just keep it all wide open for the month of June, if, if I even launch in June, and then start locking things down in July or so. And this seven-day trial garbage, it's like, you know, weekend trial, 24, that's just garbage to me. You need some time to really evaluate what's going on here and see if you really want to take part of this. So if you evaluate the program and you feel that, well, I really can't dedicate myself to this, then go to the other places. Go to the get rich quick people who make these outrageous claims that are rarely backed up by reality and then see what they have to offer. And once they charge you these really high fees to get involved in their program and teach you just enough to self-destruct, then you can come back to me if you want to do things that way. I want to be the top 1% of all stock market educators out there. That means 99% of the other teachers out there, I consider to be pure garbage. That's why I'm doing this. And they're, they're playing on people's fear and greed. They're taking advantage of people. They're making unrealistic promises. And then not teaching you what you really need to know. And I've got I'm going into my third decade of being involved in the markets and I've seen consistent success and I have a good knowledge of information and I'm not always going to be right. And I'm always still learning, but I feel that I have a very good program that could really be of use to you. All right. The never ending journey. It's a lifelong adventure to find the best information that I can. I'm always looking for books, articles, websites, what have you, and tools that allow for the highest chance of success I do have a pretty big library of books. I have a lot of software that I use. I have active subscriptions to useful information sources. And the key word here is useful. There's a lot of garbage out there. So if you've ever found anything, a book, an article, a video, a teacher, something, an information source that you think is authentically beneficial, not I'm not looking for a guru. I'm not looking for somebody to tell me what to do, but they're actually presenting some useful information. I would be really honored if you would be willing to share that with me. And then let me know if you're willing to have me share that with other folks as well, because I'm always looking for something. It never ends. So due to copyright laws, some of the, the websites that I actually pay to belong to, I can't show you their information. They have copyright laws. I've been in contact with these folks and they say, no, no, no. The things that I show, according to my knowledge, are things that I can freely show you. Like the most of the charts I develop myself, even if I got the basic idea from somebody else, I try to turn it around and make it my own. Um, but I may, but I'm constantly looking at these other things, and I may interpret these things in my presentation and present that information by saying, "Well, have you thought about this, or have you thought about that?" I'm not trying to screw anybody over. We're all just trying to make the best decisions that we can. But there are some things that I just cannot show you that I do look at for information. Also, there will be a resource page that's available so that you can look at some of these different websites that I go to. Now, some of them are free and some of them are going to cost money. One that I really recommend is stockcharts.com. That's where I make all my charts. Now, some of you, you might use TradingView or some other different platform. I used to use a different platform for a long time until I switched over to stockcharts.com. 
but some of these are, are going to involve some payments on your part. So just think about that as well. Then different viewpoints. And this is crazy. I wouldn't have even had to say this probably 20 years ago, maybe 15 years ago, maybe a little longer. But in the U.S. especially, but all over the whole world, it has turned to this us and them thing when it comes to politics, when it comes to religion, when it comes to who's right, who's wrong, and, and hateful division as well. I grew up in an environment where I didn't care if somebody was Republican or Democrat. I didn't care who their parents voted for for president. I didn't care who they voted for for president. But now, my goodness, if you don't agree with a certain side, you're totally ostracized and kicked out and canceled or ridiculed or they try to seize your bank accounts and just totally wipe out your whole life. And that's not the America I remember, but that's the America that it is now. And it's become very divided about these different things. These topics, they, they can change quickly. It goes on from one fad topic to the next. And this has produced a lot of instability and uncertainty within especially American culture. But like I said, I'm not living in the U.S. right now. It's even that way where I'm living now. And you have to be careful. There's things that I never used to have to be careful about where freedom of speech actually meant something. It's like freedom of speech as long as you say what I think you should say. It's like, okay, that's not the First Amendment. Anyway, however, the goal is not to tell people what to think. My goal, as I've said before, is to try to get you to think for yourselves. And that's what's happening here. You've got, it doesn't matter what side you're on, you're being brainwashed. Joseph Goebbels would be very proud of what culture has turned into. You used to be able to turn on the news to get information. Now you're, you turn on the news to get brainwashed and be have propaganda thrown at you, no matter which side you're on these days. But my goal is to help you to think for yourself and reach your own conclusions. And it may be different, and that's okay. You may totally disagree with a conclusion that I have, and I may totally disagree with you. But why can't we be friends anyway? So I do have very firm beliefs and opinions, but you're never going to hear those firm beliefs or opinions because of the stock market doesn't care. The stock market treats all this stuff as theater and pretty much everything that goes on in Washington, D.C. is irrelevant. The big money, the smart money, they have friends on both sides, so they don't really care. But people do care. And I want this program to be a safe place from that, a safe haven, okay? So my job is to provide the best information that I can as objectively as I can, regardless of what viewpoints I have. I may be saying something here and I may internally not really agree with it, but it's the truth at that point. And so we kind of have to go with that. And that's what I want to build. I want to build that kind of a climate in the program. And it's expected that members will follow the same guidelines. We, I don't care what your opinions are. I really don't. Now, if you have something of feedback with the stock market or an interpretation of a chart or the way I'm teaching or that I could do something different, yeah, I'm all ears or eyes or whatever I use to see what you're giving to me. But I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican or independent or part of the Martian party or whatever, that it, it plays no role in the stock market. So why should it play a role in this program? And I'm not going to preach to you what I believe. And, and I have a very deep faith. And I'm not going to preach to you the opinions that I have. And I have very strong, convicted opinions. But you're not going to know them because they don't apply to this program. So if a member wants, if you want to have a discussion with me one-on-one, -on -one, and there's been a few of you that we've had a chat from time to time, then you might have a little idea. I... What I would do quite often as, an, as a teacher, I, there's this one, I have what I call pocket lectures. Th these are things that I can do without any preparation. I've done it a lot of times before. I really don't even need any notes to do these. And I have three or four of them that I could do without any notice at all. Hey, John, can you stand up and do this? Yes, I can. And I can make it go as little as a few minutes and I could drag it out for hours if I want to. So... Um, whether that's a gift or a curse, I'm still trying to figure out. 
But one of the courses, and I was teaching adults this, is a lot of people, they don't even understand the political line, what it means to be right wing, left wing, what it means to be liberal or conservative, Republican, Democrat, and what those platforms basically believe. And so I had one of these pocket lectures that I could give without any notice. And my goal at the end of every lecture is by the time I finished, you would have no idea where I personally stood. Now, if you knew me on a personal level, that might change. But as an instructor, you should have no idea where that educator is coming from. Unfortunately, we've totally gone against that. And now our universities and colleges and high schools and even elementary schools have become propaganda machines. I want to, that's why I'm not teaching in the classroom anymore. I saw what was going on and I didn't like it. And I decided to hightail it out of public education. And that's the big, that's the reason right there. They wanted me to stay, but I didn't want to play the games and I didn't want to be controlled. I wanted to bring in my own creativity into what I do. And that's what I'm doing in this program. But if you want to have a private talk, cool. But when we're in a public setting within the program itself, like on a discussion board or um, doing a group type of thing that may be streamed or something like that, there's no need to bring any of that stuff up. Now, there are times when things happen, but I'm going to present them as fact. This is what happened. And the market may react positively to this or negatively to that or whatever. That is where it might have an influence. But to interject an opinion on that, useless and a waste of time as far as this program is concerned. And if you have a problem with that, you might want to reconsider even getting involved. All right. Some of you might have a little problem with debt. My problem with debt is that you might use money to get involved in this program, whether you're paying the monthly membership fee, which you can overcome, or you will go into debt, maybe taking a home line of credit or something to use to invest in the market. Please don't do that. Don't do that. There is a program that I want to launch in the future, but I need attorneys and I need things set up where you could theoretically go through this whole program and not ever pay me a dime where you have two people involved. So that's covering your monthly membership. And then once I know you know what you're doing and we practice through these things together over a period of time and we get to know each other a little bit, my company may be willing to set up a chunk of money for you to use. You've already proven that you know how to use, you know, do what you're doing by using simulation software because you're doing it under real-time conditions. <clears throat> and then then we set up a joint account and I don't want to split the profits or any of that garbage with you. I and mean, there's no interest or anything like that. And it's pretty much on me at that point. If you like, you know, lose it or something, because I, you should know what you're doing. And then it's on me to determine if that's really legitimate or not. And you will be responsible for the taxes though. And then once you get done, the idea is that you then give that money back to me and I can use it for somebody else. No interest, no splitting profits, nothing like that. And now you have a skill that you've learned how to do twice. Once using simulation software, another time using not your money. Now, because another thing I hear is a balk in this whole program is, well, I don't know the knowledge. And I, well, that's what I'm trying to do with this program. And I don't have the money to really get going. Well, that could potentially be taken care of as well. So what's your excuse now? You know, if, if there's a catch behind this whole thing, I tell people, look in the mirror. That's the catch. It's going to come down to your time and your dedication to this program. Now, some of you may already be in debt and trying to get out of debt is a very admirable goal because debt is just with interest rates going up. It can just suck the life out of you and you don't sleep well and it's stress in your family and blah, 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 it's just a terrible thing. So on a personal level, please. Do not incur any additional debt in order to become a member. I strongly re recommend using funds that are already available to you. Don't take out a line of credit. Don't go into more debt to try to take care of the debt that you have. Okay, I'm trying to roll out in the future something that may overcome that if you want to become involved. But don't, don't do that. Don't use borrowed money to try to make money because now you have the added stress 
of, oh my God, what am I going to do? Now, you know, it's tough enough just to be able to navigate the markets. And then you have this added thing on top of it of using borrowed money. And it's almost a recipe for complete disaster. However, you are free to do what you want to do. Okay. This is just my suggestion to you. I would highly recommend against doing that. But if you ultimately do it, you're free. You can do it if you want to. Then I also, I refuse to succumb to this foolishness that I call it, of these get rich quick folks. This is the, one of the sales pitches I love. Well, yeah, it might cost a lot for this program, but you're going to earn so much so quickly that it will quickly pay for itself. It's like, okay, I've never seen that happen. No, it might, but I've never seen it happen. And that you'll quickly recoup any of the fees by joining their program. I think that's total nonsense. I don't make any kind of promises like that. So if money is tight or if you're really in debt right now and you still want to be a part of this, get a hold of me. Yeah, I have a for-profit business here. I need to make money with this. There are things that I want to do. And I promised myself when I started this that it would be a self-sufficient business, that I would, the money that is generated from the monthly memberships, that will be poured back into the program. Okay, and that that's a commitment that I made to myself. But if you're like a single parent and you like the stock market, you don't really have the skills, you don't have the money, and you can't pay the monthly fee, get a hold of me. My God, I'm a reasonable person and we can work together. Or maybe you lost your job or you're going through a, a really difficult time financially or even emotionally. It's okay. Talk to me about this. My goal is to help you. My goal is not to make money off of you. I'm just being somewhat compensated for my time. I want to help people as much as possible. I don't want to make things worse in any way. 10 years from now, if you get involved in this program, I want you to say the SPX investing program and John made my life better. If you down the road say, man, that John, what a SOB. I wish I never crossed his path. That would be a failure to me and something that I really try hard to avoid. All right, some other thoughts. As much as I enjoy meeting people and building relationships, I'm only looking for members who are serious about learning and perfecting a skill. This is not a social club that we're, we're getting into. We may be social. I mean, you know, how are your kids? What's going on? What about those White Sox? You know, are they going to win more than five games this year? Eh, what about the NFL draft? You know, how's your golf game going? Yeah, we can shoot the breeze. That's no problem. But that's not the main focus of what we're doing here. We're, we're not just chumming up to exchange what's going on in our lives, although that can be part of it. We are trying to learn and perfect a skill. So when we get down to work, we work hard. But then when you get some success, then you get to play hard too. Then this can take time and it requires consistency as well as long-term dedication. It's going to take some time, especially if you're new. Even if you've been doing this for a while, it takes some time to do this. I'm years behind developing this program of where I thought I would be by now. But I just have to try to move ahead anyway. Okay, as long as you're trying hard, and you'll learn this about me as you get to know me a little bit better, and you make best use of all the available resources, and you have an authentic dedication to being successful, I pretty much have endless patience. I had two different students one time. There is this, I worked with developmentally disabled adults for a while, which no, that doesn't mean 12 year olds, even though I did work with them. But these are folks that have some mental issues. And there was one young lady, actually, she was an adult older than me, that, man, she smelled bad. She had to take all this medication and she would drool and she'd make a mess. And then she'd try to clean it up and then make it even worse. I was OK with that. Her heart was in the right place. She was trying to help. She was doing the best that she could do. And she was genuinely trying to make things easier and take care of the problem herself. I have endless patience with that. I could sit there all day. Now, I'll have to go back and clean up everything once she's done. But didn't bother me at all. Had another student, a little more capable. He was more conniving. He would strategize. He would do things just to make you angry, to make you angry, knowing that he knew better. I had pretty much zero patience with him. 
Okay, so it doesn't come down to what you know or you don't know. Is are you teachable? Are you willing to dedicate yourself to this? Are you willing to be involved in this? And so we become part of each other's lives. That's what I'm looking for. And if you're not into that, this program is not for you. All right. However, I'm not a guru. I am a guide. That's how I try to present myself. I'm not going to make false promises that you're going to become rich overnight by telling you what to do. If you're not willing to dedicate yourself to learning this skill, then please go somewhere else. You're wasting your time and my time if you think that I have all the answers and I'm going to magically tell them to you because I don't have all the answers. And what I do know, I will tell you, but it may not be the conclusion that will ultimately help you be successful. So if it becomes apparent that you don't want to learn, I'm going to ask you to leave. Remember, this is a two-way street. You're not only using these videos to evaluate me. As the program gets going, I'm evaluating you. And if it, I had one lady one time that she would call me up all the time. What do I do tomorrow? What do I do tomorrow? Buy, sell, buy, sell. And I'm like, well, watch the video. Well, I don't have time for that. Just tell me what to do. I'm like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you're no longer a part of this program. And I hung up the phone and she was dropped. I want people who are willing to take on this task themselves. And I will help you any way as much as I can. We'll get on Zoom or Skype and talk as much as we need to talk. I will do anything I can to help you. But if you're not willing to do your part of it, I'm probably going to say this program just is not for you. Okay. So possible concerns. The stock market is not necessarily complicated. And I've talked about that before. And we have to sort through a lot of information every day. Believe me, all the charts that I look at. And there are people out there who claim to have found these magic answers and systems and figuring out what is and what is not important. That's part of my job. And I'm constantly looking for these things. And some information is just pure garbage. Some of it, I couldn't believe this. I, I, I clicked on a YouTube video not too long ago. And this guy, you know, yeah, you know, this is the strategy that you ought to use and all this stuff. And he's like, well, I, I've been doing this for almost three months. So, you know, I know what I'm talking about. I could not stop laughing. Okay. I mean, you get people who get a little bit of knowledge and they might even have a little bit of success who suddenly think that they're experts at this and they're really not. They're due for a massive dose of humble pie, which is what I talk about in my workshop. And those people generally don't last very long. I'm into my third decade now of being involved in the markets. And so my job is to give you the best information possible. And I'm constantly looking for this and sorting out the good from the bad. So there will be some concepts that are new to you and it will require an aha moment. If you don't understand short selling, I've had nine hour conversations with people and they still walked away not knowing it didn't click for them. So, and this is to be expected. And for some of you, with all this information that you're being thrown, it's not all going to make sense right off the bat, especially if you're brand new. So one of my gifts that I know that I've been given is I can take very complicated topics, break them down, and then present them in an easier to understand manner. If you're familiar with DNS, the domain name service, that's like the big phone book for the internet. I used to teach a whole class on that. And I had people that had been using DNS for like decades. And then they would come to my class and they're like, I finally understand it now. Even though they've been working with it, they, they didn't really understand the concepts behind all of it. And I like to think that that's a gift that I've been given and to take complicated things and break them down in an easier to understand format. So, and I'll keep using, if I have to use puppets, you know, cartoons, songs, dance, whatever, I'll try to do whatever I can until it finally clicks for you. And that's a commitment that you have from me. So one last thing, I believe that I'm the best teacher offering the very best program. I have to believe that or why even try doing this in the first place? This is unrealistic and it may even sound conceited. It's the attitude that I have and I'm trying to, trying to achieve that. That doesn't mean I've arrived. That means I'm in the process of getting to where I want to arrive. And it has grown out of experience that has then led to confidence and not necessarily based in pride. And then these are things that I do. I take legitimate feedback seriously. 
I'm always doing research, reading, watching videos, taking courses. And I go to conferences and webinars myself. Every once in a while, I'll learn something new. Anytime I hear something new, my first thoughts are not, ooh, this is great information. I can use this to make money. No, it's how can I present this to you as a member so that it will benefit you. And and I do, I do that with history. I do that with music because I'm usually always teaching this stuff to other people. And so that's kind of my whole approach. It's not just learning it for myself. It's, okay, how can I take what I've learned and help others with what I've learned? And then I'm a lifelong learner. And it's just, it's a passion of mine. So, and then I do have a workshop and I'll put the description below. Feel free to check that out if you have some extra time and you want to see what I actually look like. So thank you. I hope you have a really good day and I will talk to you in the next video.